Welcome back to Face the State. I'm Ariana Bennett. Thank you for joining us. Well, like new houses or having kids, most new businesses don't come with instruction manuals. And that leaves a lot of them struggling to turn a profit and stay open. In fact, some statistics show more than half of new businesses fail within the first five years. So if you're undertaking this here locally, there is a nonprofit organization that's offering some free help to you. Carl Gerhardt from SCORE is here with Mimi Fuji Strickler, one of their clients, to talk about what you guys do. Thank you both so much for coming on the show. Oh, thank you for having us. Thank you for having us, Ariana. My pleasure. Okay, so Carl, I'm going to start with you. First, just tell us what SCORE is. Okay, SCORE is a national organization about 13,000 volunteers nationwide. Almost every city of any size has a SCORE chapter, like our chapter here in Reno. We have uh, 50 local mentors here, and I've been volunteering with SCORE for about three years now, moved here four years ago. And we provide free consulting services, big emphasis on the word free, with uh, people that either want to start their own business or are already in business and just need help of various kinds. Most all of us as mentors either owned our own small business or uh, we are perhaps worked in a corporation in an executive capacity. And, uh, and now we're available to give back and we volunteer to do this because uh, we have the time to do it. And it's a service that a lot of small businesses need and people that want to start up a business need. Yeah, it's a really invaluable um, experience and, and advice, I think, for people who are just starting out and have a lot of questions. And Mimi, you're one of their clients. Um, so what drew you to the organization? Well, my husband and I have been thinking about um, opening the UFC gym. And we have found out through the university that there was this free SCORE program where the SCORE mentors were actual business owners of all very different disciplines of businesses. And so we contacted the program, found out more about it, and learned that they offered all of these fantastic um, seminars and different classes on the different aspects of a business. So we went and we signed up for the free seminar, the first one, and were hooked and started with a series of classes that we went through a couple years ago and we're just thrilled and it was amazing how much we learned by implementing this program within starting our business and with meeting Carl here he was a godsend for us with um, our UFC gym as a franchise and without Carl it would have made it a much bigger struggle and it would have made it a lot tougher with getting through the franchise documents and also Carl was able to help us with um, pointing us in the direction with an attorney for, you know, with legal advice and all the different aspects that go with franchising and he was amazing and so we owe a lot to Carl and a lot of the other SCORE mentors as well who walked us through so many different aspects of when you're going to start a business that we had no idea even existed. If you hadn't had this type of counseling and advice early on, what do you think would have happened to your business? We would have probably muddled through, it would have taken us at least if six months, maybe even longer, to get the documentation together. And where SCORE was so vital to us opening and being able to get the business started was with within the seminars and the classes that they teach. Each week they teach you something different from business plans to marketing to market analysis, business analysis, budgets, profit and losses, pro formas, social media, which is an, another huge aspect of all of uh, businesses these days with trying to reach uh, your different audiences. And so being able to learn about the different pieces of business, and then actually we had a workbook, and inside the workbook we had work pages, we worked together with other folks within the workshops, and the forms were critical to helping us with being able to go home, see a sample business plan, see a sample pro forma, um, see a sample with the market analysis, and really made you put pen to, uh, pen to paper and made you think about, you know, do I really want to open this business? And if the answer is yes, then going ahead and really working through all of the different aspects of these are all the steps that I need to take. This is so interesting because it's almost like you're offering a free like mini degree program. Um, you're going to put the business school out of business <laughs> over there. No, not at all. Uh, we augment. We augment that, that, that type of thing. But uh, Mimi mentioned uh, some of the workshops that they attended. Uh, in addition to the one-on-one -on -one mentoring that we do, uh, we also conduct local workshops. Uh, last year, I think we conducted uh, uh, somewhere close to 80 workshops and, and had 800 or so uh, total attendees uh, where you can come and 
attend our Startup Basics class. And one of the things that we do in the Startup Basics class, and that's mainly for people that think they want to start a business, and we start out by talking about five reasons to start a business or five reasons not to start a business, because some people just aren't ready yet. Mm -hmm. And those that are, then we say, take the next step and go through our simple steps to start a business classes, which are now done with online webinars. Uh, Dave and Mimi attended those here live uh, when, we, when we were doing them uh, here locally. But people can go to, to score.org, our, our national website, and access just tons of uh, uh, webinar class information and a lot of business planning tools that's, uh, that are available at no charge also. Yeah, I imagine these businesses have to be so grateful. That has to be a big reason why you keep doing this, right, Carl? Yeah, it is. We want to help businesses succeed. Uh, the reason why, as you mentioned, a lot of startup businesses fail is because they don't do the proper pre-planning. They don't do a business plan. Dave and, and Nimi were, uh, were ideal clients because they, they went through the courses, they, they did their business plan, they were patient about how they were doing it. And by the way, they both kept their day jobs. <laughs> they also <laughs> opened this business and they, and they still have other jobs. Now, others don't necessarily do it that way. So there's a lot of ways you can increase your chances for success. Uh, and I mentioned also we, we counsel with existing business owners as well. About 40% of our 400 and some odd clients that we counseled, uh, counseled with last year are already in business, but they ne may need help with a specific thing like e exit strategy or sales and marketing uh, or social media marketing or uh, financial planning or whatever it might be. So those resources are available too. What would you say are some of the biggest issues that new business owners or people starting businesses are facing, you know, myths and misconceptions and problems that, that could be fatal if they don't figure it yeah. out? Well, many times uh, it's, it's a lack of, uh, of good sound financial planning. A lot of people that think they want to start a business uh, come to us with very little in the way of financial resources. Now that can be done. We've all heard the Bill Gates and Steve Jobs stories that start in their garage and that sort of thing. Those that are there, uh, some of those manage to do that, but uh, that's not the best way to do it. You do need to have some financial resources to get the job done. A lot of businesses fail because they simply run out of money because they didn't have enough working capital. Right. But also the reason why they fail many times and run out of working capital is because they didn't have a good sales and marketing program and they didn't get the revenue built up quickly enough. So all of that has to be kind of put in the plan you know, to, to make things work. Our mentors come from various different backgrounds, but almost any of our mentors can counsel uh, with almost any client. But the point I wanted to make on that was we also call in people to co-mentor. Yeah. Uh, one of our clients that you've had on this program before, Judy Har, uh, is very good with social media, and I'm not. So Judy has co-mentored with me quite a, time, quite a few times with that. I tend to be the franchise guy, so because I was 30 years in franchising, I'm also a part-time franchise consultant. So. If somebody wants to do a franchise like Dave and Mimi did, then you know I can counsel with them because I've had some experiences there that are helpful. So we try to use our expertise to fit the individual client. Okay, now I understand that, um, I'm sure there's probably lots of interest in, in using your services, but you need mentors in order to deliver these services. So tell me what you're looking for. Yes, well, as I mentioned earlier, most all of our mentors either own their own business or were an executive in a, in a corporation. So any kind of a broad business background like that pretty well qualifies for mentoring, but it's not made for everyone. You have to enjoy doing this, uh, and you have to be able to do one-on-ones and that sort of thing. We do have a training program that we put people through, but yes, we are looking for mentors all the time because like in any business environment, if we have 50 mentors, we're going to have some that uh, say, I don't want to do it anymore and, or I move out of town or whatever, so we're always constantly looking to replace that. So they can go to the website, again, the score.org website, or also our other website that actually interfaces with the score.org website is northernnevadascore.org, where you can go on, you can request to become a mentor, or you can request to find a mentor. Most all of our bios are on there. You can go on and look and see who you think you might want to have as a mentor or we'll assign you one. So I wanted to get in the plug for those websites as well. Yeah, a great place for people to really make a difference. And I'm sure, Mimi, you can kind of testify to what a difference, you know, it makes to businesses and, um, you know, what it did for you, right? Absolutely. With having the SCORE program and being able to utilize all of the vast knowledge of our mentors, it really helped propel us forward with the business plan and with putting the business pieces into motion. Uh, some of the, the most difficult pieces are the real estate piece is very daunting when you need to find a, a place to lease or if you're buying. Also, any type of financial 
planning or financial uh, that you need to get through a, if you need a loan especially in talking with Carl and the mentors if you're going to the SBA program that is nothing short of a small task um, that was probably one of our most stressful pieces was the real estate and the financial piece of getting loans and then also just making sure that everything falls into place um, like Carl was saying that you have a good marketing plan um, so when you get started so that you can just come out of the gate like gangbusters and you can make sure that you're successful but if you don't have all these pieces in place and you have to make sure that you're ready and that you have um, a good grasp on accounting so that when you you need to put all your financial pieces and all your accounting into place so that you can you can stay on top of the financial aspects as well it's a huge undertaking for any business of whatever type it might be so you need to make sure that you're ready and that you've got your t's crossed and your i's dotted as best that you can of course you know trial by fire is usually the way it goes and um, the one thing that i remember from the score workshops and this sticks with me as i'm working at you know way past midnight every day as I remember one of the score people saying and it might have actually been Judy saying as a business owner you get to choose which 18 out of the 24 hours you get to work <laughs> <laughs> and there was I thought oh, okay sure there was much many many truths to that so with having that thought and always remembering that and then being able to go back and sometimes I do reference some of the materials that I receive for them and we can always call our mentors we can always call Carl if you're needing some assistance or advice because they're always there for you that's great okay well, we just have about 30 seconds left um, before we go I did want to touch on this um, if people want to help you and they can't mentor you are accepting donations right uh, we we do we do get some revenue but we don't really require much revenue because okay. we're all volunteers so we have some foundations that give us some support and that sort of thing. But you don't just go to the SCORE website and contribute. That's really not necessary. Okay. So go to the SCORE website, northernnevadascore.org. If you need a mentor, request a mentor. And if you want to become a mentor, there's a place on there for you as well. We'd love to have you so we can help Reno experience successfully the kind of growth that's going on right now. It's a great time to be in business in Perfect. Reno. Perfect. Okay. Thank you both so much. Thank I really you. appreciate your Thank time. You. All right. That is it for us. We will see you next weekend.